Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Druhan from Medix Health Corps. How are you today? I'm wonderful today. Thanks, Tracy. Well, thank you so much for joining us with Market Drivers. Can you tell me where Medix is heading to first? So Medix is um, Medix has uh, put together a platform that allows us to do early detection of skin cancer, and um, we're doing a raise right now for two million dollars. That allows us to get our technology out into the marketplace. Everything has been completed in terms of the scalability and interest in the market for our technology that's what we're doing right now and can you just you know for those of you out there investor Intel like me have not heard about Medex until recently at the Rays conference in Quebec City can you tell us why your stock is up 30% for the year and what your competitive advantage is please so I think the stock's up because I think we've got a really good shareholder base. I think that they've been patient, they understand what we're doing and delivering. And I think we've been accurate with everything that we said we were going to deliver, we've delivered. I think they're starting to see signs recently, like we did in the Netherlands, of landing a fairly large scale contract. And I think that's excited the market. And secondly, uh, in terms of differentiation, every device now that's an imaging device is a class one device. We're a class two device. We solve a major problem for dermatologists being able to read skin cancer, potential skin cancer lesions on over the internet. And that's what we do differently than anyone else. Now the deal you're talking about in the Netherlands is the Derm Secure deal. Is that correct? So Derm Secure is the platform by which we're able to be scalable. Derm Secure allows us to put our, our patient management system on top of that. It allows us to put our imaging system to allow all of that information to flow securely because there's a fair amount of regulatory side around privacy uh, to get that information over to a dermatologist. So let me give you a live example. For example, we have a clinic up in Sudbury that currently has our technology installed. A patient can go in there, be scanned for skin cancer. We've had this happen. The results go down to the Women's College Hospital where uh, uh, Dr. Trevor Champagne, the head dermatologist there, reads the uh, reads the patient's file and assesses that patient. We've had it happen so quickly that we've had a patient assessed on a Thursday who had a second degree or uh, stage two uh, skin cancer and had it removed the next Tuesday at the hospital. So we can compress that time. The wait times in Canada, if you're outside the central core, can be 12 months. So Mike, can you tell me what's different about your the Medex uh, economic model? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing that the market's um, hopefully looking at now. Uh, we're now, now an actual SaaS model, so software as a service. Because we now control everything from the patient from the beginning to the end, we put it on the across a Chrome browser. That means that right now, the way it works is every clinic we go in, we sell typically to a clinic for $2,500, but every time a scan's taken, we get a recurring revenue, and that revenue flows between $7 and $10. So what you're going to see is, for example, if I were to model it out, uh, let's say we did a pharmacy for 1,500 installs. That number works out to about 8.5 million top line revenue. And we've never been able to do that before. That's the big differentiator right now. So what you're saying is the opportunity is now. Is that correct? Yeah. We've, we've, we've been a long time doing the platform and getting this right. But the acceptance that we're starting to see, like you saw in the Netherlands for 4,500 physicians, that I expect to see a lot more into 2019. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next quarter or two? It's a great question. So I think we've got some uh, big scalable stuff. We've already sort of pre-announced that we're working on Mexico. I think that'll come in very shortly. And I expect you'll start to see some big pharmacy chains right around the globe start to adopt the technology. And we're also working in some uh, segmented areas with the military and other areas like that that are specifically high risk categories for it. Um, airlines, things of that nature that are specific to people with high incidence of skin cancer that we can go in and work in that targeted market. Our audience loves artificial intelligence. Can you be a little more specific about the competitive advantage of your AI? Yeah, we're, we looked at a lot of the AI platforms out there, some very, very large companies in that space, trying to discover what is a melanoma. And it turns out that's a very difficult question to ask. What should be asked, we think, and the way our AI, driving our AI, is what is a melanoma? The wait times to get in to see a dermatologist, 97% of the people that are waiting to see a dermatologist have a benign lesion. They're not going to die from it. We need to be able to get that 97% of the people out of the lineup and only get the people that have stuff that is lethal going to the dermatologist. So our technology and the AI question we ask is, what is not a melanoma? Because that can be dealt with with a regular GP. So where are we taking you to next? 
Oh, if you could drop me off at the King Eddie, that would be wonderful.